This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by OnLive. On YouTube, they call him Soldiers Knows Best. Here in the real world, he's Mark Watson, and you know what? He knows his stuff. Mark is in town visiting Revision 3. We asked him to stop by Techzilla and share some of his secrets for getting those beautiful smooth screens captures he's using on the show. Now, I gotta say, Mark, first of all, welcome to the show, man. Great to be here. You're taller in real life. Oh, yes, a lot of people tell me that. It's funny, <laughs> everybody looks smaller on YouTube, I figured out. What, why, are you primarily using OS X, or do you mix between OS X and Windows for screen captures? Yeah, I'm, I mostly use a Mac for everything I do. Is it because it's simpler? Simpler, easier, and a little bit faster as far as what I'm doing. I can hear some angry noises out in the audience. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the, the emails to techzilla at revision3.com, but what's your favorite screen capture tool these days? Right now I'm using an application called ScreenFlow. It's currently Mac only at the moment, uh, but it's a great application. It's very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't you know drag on your system too much, using up all your resources, and it just has a lot of good editing th uh, things you can do to it to make your presentation a little bit better as well. It's pretty funny because a lot of people don't realize back in the, the bad old days you would do screen capture, and sometimes the screen capture software would slow down your machine so much right. you couldn't actually use the application you were trying to screen capture. Right. So is this the software we're looking at right now? Yes, here's uh, ScreenFlow open right now. And I already did a quick little screen capture beforehand. And um, so you basically, basically just start playing, uh, press play there, and it'll show you what you've been capturing on your screen. And one cool thing you can do with ScreenFlow, you can add a call out, uh, which you go up here and uh, select on the um, the, the slide that you want to add a call out to, hit the button, and now it will maximize on your mouse cursor. So you can really show if you're presenting this to uh, a group of people or to a, a boardroom or whatever, and you kind of show what you're looking at there, and it'll follow your mouse cursor just like that. And um, of course, you can adjust that if you want to, to add that as long or as uh, short as you want it to. And then here, I just went to Revision 3's website, and you can see just the performance of it. It's doing a good job of capturing everything on the screen as I scroll mm -hmm. uh, down with my mouse. And another cool thing you can do with uh, screen flow as well is uh, while you're capturing you can also um, take video as well um, or you can talk into a microphone but I took a little a little shot here of just me doing some video video work right here and I'm gonna add this onto my screen capture and now just me and my whole room messing around um, but anyway if I wanted to play some video and also to do the screen capture at the same time I can do that and also show myself talking and this, again this would be good for a presentation if you're gonna be doing something like that and uh, another cool thing if you're gonna be showing people how to do things or uh, if you're gonna be doing some typing in it uh, you can actually show what you're typing on the screen as well so you can go ahead and open up pages right here and I'm just gonna zoom in in screen flow and uh, so now I can go here and go to the recording properties here and show keys press. And that will show oh, cool. everything that I'm typing and even show the, the modifier keys if I do press them at some point. And uh, again, this would be good for if you don't want to have any audio, you can still show what you're typing on the screen at the same time. And uh, ScreenFlow performs very, very well, like, like you were just saying about the performance uh, issues that used mm -hmm. to be in some of these uh, capture programs. Uh, you can record 1080p video if you were watching an HD movie for you uh, people out there want to be doing this type of stuff, you can record that on here, and it does a pretty good job of keeping up with everything. And uh, now you can add that into your presentation if you wanted to, and you can edit this, you can chop this down as much as you want to, or crop it, and nice. uh, put this anywhere that you want. So ScreenFlow is just a very, very fast and easy application that I like to use. Uh, and it runs about $99 right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get it in the Mac App Store, actually. And if you want a good alternative for using Mac, you can use QuickTime. Uh, QuickTime now can do screen captures if you want. And um, I can actually show you that if you want to Absolutely. flip back to it. Um, so you open up QuickTime. And now it can give you an option to choose what portion of the screen that you want to record. You can record the entire screen and press the record button. And there you go. And this is free to come built into every Mac, of course. So you can do that. On the PC side, um, you can use an application called Snagit. Mm -hmm. um, it costs about $50. And uh, that'll get you the same capabilities of ScreenFlow, just not as many of the features. Yeah, well, ScreenFlow, actually I'd like to see ScreenFlow ported over to the PC because it's a really clean tool for doing this stuff. Right. It is another alternative called Camtasia, which is probably the closest you can get to ScreenFlow, but mm -hmm. it's like $300 on it. Yeah. It's not that. We yeah. used to use the, the free version of Camtasia a lot, it's like <laughs> 29 days and 23 hours at a time. Yeah, I'm just reusing. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then we finally actually got work to shell out for it, which is a big plus. This is back uh, at a previous show I worked at. Mark, thank you so much for coming by. Anything coming up next week on... Uh, on Soldier Knows Best, you want to give people a heads up on? I'm just going to be covering more Call of Duty. I know a lot of people out there like Call of Duty, so I'll be doing some more gameplay videos of that, so stay tuned. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. By. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen it, you can catch Mark on Soldier Knows Best at youtube.com slash Soldier Knows Best. Right now, though, we got to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. 
OnLive is the only place where you can play 30 minutes of over 150 games for free. Not just the demo of a game, but the actual game. Check out titles like Batman Arkham City, Saints Row the Third, both available November 15th, Lord of the Rings War in the North, and indie hits like Bastion and Orcs Must Die. There is no credit card required and no monthly fee to play. Go to OnLive.com and check it out.